All right, there goes the brownout. You should be able to see no brownout. Armor is good protection against an enemy. Wow, that's a lot of dust. But what if the enemy is so small that it takes you down from the inside? That's what sand can do to a helicopter engine. And it's also why the Department of Defense is united in its hunt for a technology solution to protect aviators from this dangerous enemy. So you can see the sand built up. At the U.S. Army Research Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, scientists and engineers experiment with coatings in high temperature environments with the goal of creating something, anything, that will cause sand to slide off the inside of a turbine engine the way an egg slides off a nonstick skillet. We are going through a very methodical process to understand the science and then use the science to predict the material solution, what we call the engineered or tailored materials, and that will lead to the, to the right solution. Goshal leads the Army's efforts to develop what he calls sandphobic coatings. Our goal is to have the particles strike the blades or the wings and flake off. When we started looking into this problem, we found that in order to look at a very basic research level, we want to actually understand the physiochemical behavior. Once we can do that, then our idea is to take that model and then predict the type of material that would enable us to develop this sandphobic coating. Helicopters have filtration systems which attempt to filter out larger particles but Goshal said micron-sized particles go through the turbine's combustor and adhere to the blades. This chokes the airflow and can lead to engine loss. We have a unique rig here. The hot particulate ingestion rig actually allows us to put sand into the hot gas flow to rapidly prototype new coating materials. And it allows us to do a world first, actually using high-speed imagery, we could actually confirm the molten state of the sand particles impacting on these thermal barrier coatings. There is a close collaboration going on within the community to solve this problem. The research community includes academia, industry, and other government agencies, all working together toward a common goal, safeguarding against the danger of sand. I, I strongly believe in next to three to five years, we will be, have not maybe one, but several solutions depending on, uh, on the type of environment. It will definitely save a lot of soldiers' lives in, in the long run. Our solutions will make our soldiers' lives safer and will make our army strong. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.